the in the land of grills. <laughs> we got a new grill. Of course we got a new grill. We wouldn't be in the land of grills if we didn't get a new grill. So this thing caught my eye. A lot of folks like you out there have asked me about the Country Smokers Portable Pellet Grill. And uh, this caught my eye this week because it was on sale for 169 bucks. Hard to pass that up for 169 bucks. And you know what? There's a lot of similarities between this grill and that one by Pit Boss right there. In fact, they're made by the same company. We're gonna take a deep dive into this grill, show you all the specifics, show you what I paid for it. And of course, we're gonna fire it up. We're gonna do a puck test, see how accurate it is. Let's get started. Well, I'll tell you what, if, if you are not fortunate enough to have one of these, and they're in the Midwest, the Common Arts, they're in Wisconsin, uh, Minnesota, Northern Illinois, I think maybe even Iowa, uh, maybe even Michigan, I don't know. Somebody out there will correct me on this. But when I saw this, you know, everyday low price was 200 They had on sale for 199 and then uh, $189, I should say. And then they had this 11% 11, 11 rebate thing. They got this all the way down to 100 69 bucks and i'll tell you what that for 169 bucks if you're looking for a portable pellet grill this might be you know if you're something where you're not going to use it that often this might be the grill for you or if you're just into starting to get into pellet grills and you don't want to spend a lot of money you ain't going to break the bank on this one let's take a look at all the specifics all right they're saying the te uh, cooking temp is 180 to 500 we'll check that out the main surface has an upper and a lower grate 191 uh, square inches and the uh, removable upper rack is 64. It's a total of 256 square inches of cooking space. The hopper is three and a half pounds. Taking a quick walk around the country smokers. They have a gauge up there, uh, which a lot of pellet girls don't have. I like that. You got two clips here to lock the door. There is, they do have gasket material on there like that there is your controller yeah now there's nothing in anything that says that it is a pid proportional integral derivative controller so i have a feeling that it's not in fact it's got a p setting on there and we'll talk about p setting as we go along here uh it does come with a cover this is where all your mechanicals are uh, how you would access for your mortar uh the uh legs as you can see are set back and the reason they're set back is so that then you can carry it around like that. So that's a pretty clever idea of how to put a handle on there. Uh, you've got your grease. Uh, obviously, we always want to get our grease out of the grill, and that's how it does that. In the back, this is where your hinges, this is where your smoke will vent out. Uh, you know, and another thing I like about this from a portability standpoint is that the plug is removable. So you can store it in the grill, obviously, when it's cooled down, and uh, you don't have to worry about it getting in the way. All right, so on the inside, a lot of similarities here between uh, this grill and the Pit Boss. You've got your three and a half pound uh, hopper right there. Uh, believe it or not, a lot of people call these little upper grates on, Pellegr on these smaller Pell grills a waste of money, but I don't. I've put in a whole uh, pork tender, a small pork tenderloin up there, bacon wrapped tray underneath, and uh, it works very well. And this is uh, porcelain coated enamel, it does come off. And then you've got your main grill grate, same thing, porcelain coated enamel, nice thick grate. And then you've got your, your grease tray right there. Now they do have the uh, burn pots right below there. So if you want to get some flame action, but remember it's going to be limited uh, to that area right there. This is steel. So that will, that will rust eventually. Keep it seasoned, it'll, it'll, it'll last longer. Your uh, burn pot, this is your burn pot, and this is stainless steel. Inside, get you in there, for those of you who haven't seen. So that's the auger right there. You can see the tip of the auger right there. Below it, that's the hot rod. So when you start this, you always start it on the smoke setting right there. And uh, that turns on the hot rod, uh, and it's a time cycle for the hot rod. And that gets hot, hot enough and that auger augers in the pellets and then those holes there's a blower in there blows the air around and gets the fire going then once once it's started then you can turn it to whatever you can leave it on smoke or you can turn it and you can see you've got a dial setting there that takes you all the way around to high which they're claiming is 500 and then you've got the p setting we'll talk about that a little bit more later this right there that's your temp probe so when this is on and telling the temp it's just telling you that temp which is reading at that spot right there. Uh, your grease from that grease tray goes into this trough right here. 
there's a hole right there that then takes it out of the grill where your grease belongs, out of your grill. Those events that we looked at before. And uh, I think that's it for the outside of the country smokers. A lot of similarities between this and the Pit Boss. Uh, let's, uh, let's talk about the P setting. And then, you know what, we're, we're gonna fire it up and uh, do a little bit of a puck test and see how accurate it is. All right, got some pellets in there. And to fire it up for the first time, you've gotta get the uh, pellets through the auger, into the auger, into the burn pot. So we're just gonna leave it on. And when we hear those first pellets pop in there, then we're gonna turn it off. And then we're gonna wait 30 seconds and we're gonna turn it back on and we should be able to make fire. But the P setting, which is right here, and you can see it tells you that it's P setting is on P4. So it goes from uh, one to seven. And depending upon the climate you live in or the time of the year, if you think it's running too hot, like right now, if uh, say I set it at 225 and every time I set it at 225, it's 275. So then I could take that P setting and set it down to maybe P2. Uh, but if I'm using this in the winter time and I, and I got it on P4 and I want 225 and it, all it's reading is 185, I could take that P, P4 and make it like a P6. So uh, that's one of the ways I think this is not a PID controlled pellet grill. All right, first pellets are falling in there. Now I'm gonna turn it off by taking this to the off and uh, let that go for a while. And then we're gonna turn it back on and hopefully we'll have fire. All right, folks, first fire. And uh, we're gonna put it back together, put the pucks in, and we're gonna leave it on low smoke and see what low smoke, what the temps are. I just want to show you in the owner's manual, there's a whole thing on uh, grill temperatures. It talks about the ranges. Uh, I really think that this is just a timed cycle controller down there, which, and, and you know, all the first pellet grills were that way. Nothing wrong with them. It's just that when you get one of these that has timed cycles, you, you got to understand that you're going to have kind of a wide range of temperature swing. So if it's set at 225, it may get as high as 250. And then on the low side, it may get as low as 200. Some people like that because they say it gives it more smoke, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll see as time goes on. You can see, I got it on low smoke and I just fired it up and it overshot big time on the lid here. It says 300, but uh, there it says 400. But we're gonna give us a chance to settle down and uh, give it about 15 minutes and then we'll take a more closer look and call that more the true temp of, uh, of uh, the smoke setting. Well, there's no doubt on the smoke setting that it smokes. Also got a little smoke coming from the temp gauge. That's interesting. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. It obviously has settled down and it's smoking like crazy. Uh, 175 on a controller. You can see a little over 200 there. We got a little rain falling right now. Strange day, it rains, it doesn't rain. It's about 100% humidity out here. And uh, our pucks, well, pucks are all over the place. About 240 there on the top, just a little over 200. And a little bit on the same there. And then on the bottom, 250-ish. So it's definitely running a little bit hotter at grill crate than it is the controller. And, uh, than that is. So I, I think we've proven that it smokes and it can get a little slow. Let's, uh, you know what, we're gonna turn it up to 300 and see what it does at 300. All right, so I, I had my piece settings just backwards here. So on a warmer day like today, and we're in the summer, it's the last week of June. So it comes to fault with a P4, so it means that the, the auger's off for 115 seconds then it runs for 18 seconds. And every P setting, the auger on is always 18 seconds. What changes is the auger off. So when I was telling you that I would go down, in actuality, I think I want to go up in order to cool things down a little bit. Because right now at 300, it's running about 350. So my P setting of six is where I just put it. So I have 140 seconds off, 18 seconds on. This just confirms that this is not a PID controller. And if you can see the smoke, yeah, that's on a uh, setting of 300. You can see I just changed the P setting to six and we're running 350. Let's uh, give that a couple minutes and see how it evens out. All right, another 10 minutes here. 
and uh, let's give you a look see so evening out at 300 back one there is also a little less than 300 and here we're 250 and there were a little above 250 so I, I think that helped remember this is old school and I think it really puts you in control of what it's doing some people like that some people don't let's turn up the high and see what it does on high all right it doesn't take a long time for us to show 440 coming up this or this thing counts in five degree increments you can see the lid is way behind and, and there's something about the placement of that temp probe and you saw it before how it is tucked down below the grill grate in fact on on this grill it's below the uh the grease tray which kind of puts it underneath in a hot zone so it's always going to read hotter quicker uh right there than it would here or it would on our pucks as you can see there are only three and a quarter not even 350 yet so you know and, and this is not just country smokers the pit boss is like this and a lot of other of these portable pellet grills for the lack of maybe not having a better place to put it that's where they put it but it gives you a little bit of a false reading and uh, no cut on country smokers like i said everybody else does this uh let, we'll keep on going here give you a look see at the high uh what it is and then we're gonna shut this down give her give you my final thoughts all right so uh, this is a good example of what a uh, time cycle controller does so we've got it set at uh and high which is supposed to be around 500 and you can see it's 485 but it's been as high as 510 so that's your swing right there you know 45 to 510 on the lid you know it's reading you know 575 but that's up high you're gonna remember where this i showed you where this probe is it's below the grates so and that's uh been 15 minutes now so we've got our pucks are definitely above 450 approaching 500 i would say 475 and on the top shelf you can see where they are right there where they are right there and that bottom one oh yeah you can see it it's a little bit of 450 so I, t I tell you what i'm gonna shut this down and uh give you my final thought all right final thoughts on the country smoker portable pellet grill I, I tell you you can say time you get what you pay for 169 bucks folks that's pretty hard to pass up if you're looking for a portable pellet grill if you understand what's happening with this grill and you're able to handle or understand or deal with some wider temperature swings and it usually doesn't affect the cook that much uh, a lot of people are upset if i send a 325 i want 325 i understand that uh, you do have control here using the P setting. And uh, the uh, instructions right there will tell you how to do that. So that puts you in control. If you're one of those people who don't want to be in control, then maybe this isn't the grill for you. But I'll tell you what, you can get its brother, or big brother right there, Pit Boss, that does have a PID controller. So it's a little bit more in, in control, but it does come with price tag. That's probably about a hundred bucks more. If you're looking for your first pellet grill, folks, or if you're looking for a portable pellet grill, I'll tell you what, there ain't nothing wrong with this grill right here. 169 bucks, I'm all in. Tom Horseman, YouTube, thumbs up. What do you think of the Country Smokers portable pellet grill? Keep on watching Tom Horseman, YouTube. I'm gonna do a video upcoming explaining the difference in controllers, time cycle versus PID. So everybody understands. Thanks for watching, appreciate it. Take care, folks.